Thanks, Nicole. One of my favorite memories is of taking home ec at the middle school, where I got to make these lovely shorts. So when I found out that I had to go to Milkovich for my final exam, I knew exactly where I was headed. I planned on brushing up on my sewing skills first, but the smell of pepperoni seemed a bit more enticing, since it was right before lunch. So I let my nose lead the way to Mrs. Donaldson's room, where I found her preparing for her class to make, what else? Pepperoni bread. The students were anxious to get their hands in the dough, and once they did, things really got rolling. While the chef stuffed and tucked away, I put Mrs. Donaldson aside for a quick question. So what are the kids going to do with these skills that you're teaching them? I'm hoping that they'll go home and make some of the recipes we've made at school at home and also pick up new recipes, that they'll have an interest in food, that they'll go to a cookbook and decide to make something that looks good and enjoy it. Soon things began to heat up and everybody seemed to be a little impatient. And I do mean everybody. But I couldn't just sit there, so I decided to talk to the head cook about his other creations. So what kind of foods have you gone home and made? Well, I made a brunch casserole in here, and it turned out pretty good. Nobody in your family died or anything, did they? <laughs> no, no, it was good. Unfortunately, not everyone had their oven etiquette down pat, and there are a few minor mishaps along the way. I'm pretty sure the cookbooks don't include a chapter on how to deal with these kind of disasters. But in the end, these hungry kids said there was nothing too crusty that a little surgery couldn't fix. And so they finally did get to enjoy their culinary delights. However, my day was far from over. I still had time to take in a few sewing lessons. So I hunted down Mrs. Linda Reardon, who told me that there's more going on here than meets the eye. I learned that both cooking and sewing are part of a home ec program known as Work and Family. The students learn handy skills that will help them fend and mend for themselves. Now that I've got a few more years under my belt, I'm sure I can do a much better job. Well, maybe I've been gone just a little too long. I'm Shantae Jefferson from Maple Schools today.